Here, here is a, a speech that was given at that uh, same rally by a new uh, the, the son of a North Carolina congressman, uh, Dan Bishop. Um, I don't know what he was doing in, in uh, Arizona. Maybe this is just where he lives. I, I guess so. Um, but here he is. He's apparently um, uh, one of Charlie Kirk's guys, right? Is this mm. is he turning points to USA? I think he's turning points leadership. Is okay. what I got. And so they brought him on and uh, here he goes. He's, I don't know, the, 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 uh, he doth protest too much. Sounds, uh, comes to mind. And you know, Mr. President, Mr. President, my dad, Congressman Dan Bishop, he likes to say that you like to say that he's not a choker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, Mr. President, us college conservatives, we ain't chokers neither. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I know it's just sort of funny. <laughs> just to watch it again. We're not. Chokers. Hey, yeah. Ah. It's Arrested so, Development, is what that. Well, I bet. Like, what? What is it? Like, in what circumstance would these guys not choke as college conservatives? I don't know. Like what are they running for something? Are they, they, is there like volleyball competitions that they're like, I don't get it. I mean, Angela knowing, Davis was coming to campus and we stood outside. We didn't lose our nerve. We didn't lose our nerve. I, I don't know what, I, don't I think know what the hell that is. Knowing TP USA, it's maybe uh maintain silence about your uh, racism. That's and don't right. embarrass the group. That's right. We oh. never, ever let our WhatsApp uh, chats uh, get released, ever. We I mean, never. he said they ain't chokers neither, uh, so they are chokers, it sounds like, maybe. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's how we, yeah. yeah, grammar is how we're going to take on TPUSA. <laughs> <laughs> here, here is another speaker at this rally, and... Um, this is offensive in about seven different ways. Um, apparently, um, well, she is a, uh, she's one of these student speakers. I don't know if she's TPUSA, but the, I, I would love to have had the ability to check people's cupboards before they started to bemoan the fact that Aunt Jemima was canceled. Jesus like, Christ. this is like, um, you know, this is like that was like know. a type of thing where I I mean, I don't eat things like that because of my my health neurosis, but it was like they haven't already changed that. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but but here, let's listen to uh, let's listen to, you know, any opportunity uh, to talk about what how how we're on a slippery slope, folks. First, it could be Aunt Jemima. Then it could be, I don't know, the planters peanut guy or it could be. The luck, the leprechaun from Lucky the Quaker Charm. Oats guy, the Quaker Oats guy. I mean, who knows who's next? Aunt Jemima was canceled. And, and if you didn't know, Nancy Green, the original first Aunt Jemima, she was a picture of the American dream. She was a freed slave who went on to be the face of the pancake syrup that we love and, and have in our Jesus. pantries today. That's the American dream. Be That's a slave. The American dream. Be, a, be slave, a slave. And then and get they exploited be, by what you look like because it signifies a less really, um, I mean, how do I put this? The idea with Aunt Jemima was a play on this, uh, this sort of trope that existed. I mean, they wanted someone like, oh, there's old Aunt, Aunt Jemima. She's going to make us pancakes. Yummy. Just like they did on the uh, plantation type of thing. Like, she's the one who's going to take care of us. But the reality is, is that that entire uh, icon, that, that idea of an Aunt Jemima was created be, in, in large part because, um, as, as Matt has said, uh, it wasn't just a, uh, a, a, a labor. Um, it wasn't just about uh, the, the labor trade. It was also the sex trade. And uh, the, 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 the idea of having like an older maternal, you know, Aunt Jemima in the house 
helping the kids as opposed to someone who uh, a, a woman that the uh, slave owner is essentially raping and using as a, you know, that's what the development of that character came out of. And right. the idea that like, oh, she was a former slave trade, you know, slave. And the, it's the American dream. She lived the dream. From being a slave to having just a job where they just take your picture. They take your picture and they mock you on a pancake box. Yeah, American you can dream. go and look at the Amer the original uh, depiction of Aunt Jemima as well and get a pretty good idea. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's evil. Yeah, honestly, it's the American evil. dream. They had You're already like sanitized it. Your likeness will be used to advertise a commodity. <laughs> Great, right. right? It also, and, I have. And, it reminds me of uh, the scene in The Sopranos and to where sell he a uh, lie. and to sell a lie about what slavery right. was. Look how happy she is. Look how happy. Right. Yeah, that's it's perfectly compatible with sort of lost cause. Like things weren't actually all bad back then. Yep. And uh, boy, I, I, I. I mean, how many, how many literally like thousands of dollars do you think that uh, Steven Crowder will just make off the fact that Aunt Jemima, they did, they did, they, they've taken her picture off it. I mean, Tim, it's a shame because yeah. Tim, Tim Poole's voice is hurt. So he wasn't able to broadcast today and about this important news. Oh yeah. 